Good morning guys. Okay, wow that morning voice though. So today is Sunday. I don't know the date again because I never do. But I figured I was going to film a full day of eating for you guys because you guys always request them and like they're my most viewed videos. So obviously you guys like them. Um, I'm on contest prep so today I have a refeed day. So I am a little bit higher carb so I'm really freaking excited for that because it's my first refeed day. And yeah, I'm going to eat breakfast now. I'm not going to show you guys how I make it, but I'm going to eat ready breakfast, which is almost like an orange. It's a po it's a it's an oh I give up. It's almost like an oatmeal. It's a porridge from England. I'm gonna have 40 grams of that, three egg whites, and a side of strawberries. I'm also gonna put a little bit of uh, Quest Cinnamon Crunch protein powder in my ready bread. Wow, fail. I really can't speak this morning. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'll show you guys when I'm done. Breakfast has to be my favorite fucking meal of the day. I could eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But um, today's leg day, so I ate that now. I'm gonna wait like 45 minutes to an hour, and then I'm gonna go hit legs. Also, by the way, I am drinking decaf coffee. I'm trying to lay off of caffeine because I know later on in my prep, I'm gonna want more of it, and I want it to be more effective, and um, recently it just hasn't been, so I'm going, pardon me. I'm going to be drinking decaf coffee. But if you guys haven't, I know you guys probably can't get your hands on it, but my mom's from England, so when she comes home, she gets that ready break. And honestly, do you see how much I got for 40 grams? Like, the macros on it are amazing. 40 grams, it's 23 carb, four protein, and 2.5 grams of fat. So it's like beautiful, better than oatmeal, and it tastes amazing, and it's so smooth. Oh my God, I can stop going Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna go hit legs. I'm gonna be taking my Athena pre-workout. I'm gonna take a scoop of that, and then I'll film a little bit of my leg workout for you guys if I can, and I don't get fucking kicked out. This time. So here we go. The one thing I forgot to tell you guys, I don't want to tell you like my exact macros because I hate when you guys follow them, especially on prep because they're like a lot lower than my normal macros. I have two sets of macros. I have a good for me. Oh my god, I'm dying today. I have a lower uh, carb day, which is going to be my upper body days, and then on my one back day, it's like a push pull day, I have a, a higher carb day, it's about 200 carbs, and the rest is irrelevant, and then um, my lower carb day is about 160, and then each week I'm going to see how it goes from there, and I'm just going to drop it down as I need, but honestly right now I feel really, really good, um, my energy is still up. I get hungry, I'm not gonna lie, like I do get hungry because I'm used to eating like over 2,500 calories a day and I'm sitting at like 1,700. But um, this prep is gonna be awesome and I'm excited to kill it. So let's go for the day, guys.
guys tell I had a good workout? Wow, it's fucking snowing outside. Yesterday was 70 degrees. Okay. Um, so I hit legs. You guys saw that. I didn't film everything, but um, I just finished off with some mach some machines. With some machines, so hip adduction, hip abduction, donkey kickbacks on the cables, and then some glute work, just like donkey kickbacks on the floor and glute bridges. So I'm not gonna... I have everything... Let me show you guys. So what I do is I track everything in my fitness pal the night before kind of just to get a feel of what I'm going to eat throughout the day so that I can hit my macros and I don't have to like really necessarily worry. I'm not like too worried anyway. I try to eat my a lot of my carbs in the beginning of the day because I hit my lifts in the beginning of the day typically. But since I'm going home and I don't have my meal cooked, I'm just going to take a scoop of aminos. These are my Unico Nutrition Yaminos um, Blue <coughs> blue frost and they are literally the best things in the world so I'm just gonna take a scoop of this and then I have like when I get home I'll probably be eating like vegetables rice and some kind of meat um I think I have like shrimp tracked in there so you guys will see when I get home but on this prep I'm really just trying to eat a lot of whole foods um because they fill me up more a lot of people are like oh if it fits your macros it's great which it is because I allow myself to have like a treat within my prep every once in a while and stuff but I just want to be eating more whole foods, lots of vegetables to keep me full and going throughout the day and strong. My bicep baby's so weak, oh my god. Okay, so I'm gonna drink this and then I'm gonna go home and make food and you guys will see. Okay, so scratch that guys. My parents just called me and when I was leaving the gym, they were they said that they were at this diner, which is like my favorite diner, and diner food you can always do while I'm prepped because I'm literally probably just going to get egg whites and Canadian bacon. Um, it won't be weighed out, um, but since it's like the first day of my prep and it's a refeed day, I'm going to try and guesstimate at my most. I won't be doing this throughout my whole prep, but I know that I'm going to be eating like mostly protein here and I'm not really afraid of that. So, I'll let you guys know when I get inside. Okay guys, so I just want to explain a little bit to you about my prep. So you guys saw that I just ate out. I got two egg whites, a ham slice, and I ate one piece of toast. The ham slice on the menu says three ounces, and I believe it's true because I get one from Aldi that literally is the exact same thing. So I went ahead and I tracked that in my fitness pal, and I'll just adjust for the rest of the day. That's the great thing about um, like if it fits your macros, which is not technically how I'm doing my prep, but I want to stick to more whole foods. It just means for the rest of the day I will be eating a lot more whole foods, and it's my refeed day, so I'm not too worried about it. I won't be doing this my whole prep, this was like a one-off, but I do think that you can still eat out on prep as long as you make the right kind of choice like I did today. Um, literally egg whites and like ham and a piece of toast, like you can do that. Um, but a lot of people are asking me, do I think it's safe for me to do a prep after having an eating disorder? And honestly, like you guys have seen, I'm being a little flexible, but I'm giving it my all before I get hate and people telling me I'm not giving it my all. I'm giving it my all, I'm still tracking everything, so I'm... You know, like, I'm comfortable. I think it's not for everybody, especially if you did have an eating disorder in the past, but I think that I'm mentally there and I feel so stable and I'm just ready for it. And this has been my dream for the longest time and I'm going after it. So I hope you guys support me. But that was my meal number two for the day. It is 11 o'clock. I eat about six to seven times a day just because I get really, really hungry. And I'd rather just have something, even if it's small, every two or three hours. So I'm eating like every six, every every two to three hours, about six to seven meals a day. So I'm gonna hit some homework now, hit the books, and then I will show you guys my third meal, which most of my meals for the rest of the day will be whole foods. So. Well, here I am, two hours later, hungry. But on prep, I feel like you're just always pretty hungry. So I'm gonna make something that's like super voluminous, voluminous. Lighting. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what I've been eating, and it is literally my life. So I mix a serving of this riced veggies. It's just cauliflower and sweet potato with like half a cup of rice, and I'm gonna throw some veggies in there, three ounces of chicken, and then one ounce of mozzarella cheese. And that is gonna be meal three for me. I'll put the macros somewhere on the screen. I'm gonna put the macros for each meal on the screen, which you guys probably already saw in my last two. Um, so I'll show you what that looks like when it's done. This is gonna be like my lunch, and then I won't eat again for a little bit, but I have some good stuff planned for the rest of the day since it's my refeed day. So I'm hyped for that. All right, so let's go get cooking. Okay, so here is the final product. 
And if you guys can see, like that looks like a lot of food, but it's like, I think 260 calories. So that is like my key for getting through this prep because I like to, I like it to look like I'm eating a huge amount of food, even though like a lot of this is vegetables. Um, I've been getting a lot of fiber, which I was off of for a while. So kind of killing the digestive tract, but it's coming, it's, it's coming to a slow halt and doing better. So I'm gonna eat this and then get back to studying. And then I'm gonna have a snack before I go and train two clients later, which I think I'm gonna make protein waffles. I allow myself to make like something with one scoop of protein a day. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna eat this bad boy. And keep going. Gosh, y'all are gonna think I'm so gross for doing this, but I'm heading out to meet a client in like 45 minutes. But right now I just prepared a bunch of meals for the week and I got a bunch of white rice and chicken, so you're gonna think I'm nasty. Lexi, shout out to you girl if you're watching this because I know you do this too and I've done it before and it's not gross, I promise it tastes good. I have switched to all natural peanut butter guys on this prep and I have it like once a day maybe. Get some fats in there. I'm gonna put one tablespoon in this chicken and rice. With a little bit of stevia. I was gonna have waffles earlier but um, I wanted to eat something that was a little bit more whole because I went out to the to breakfast this morning. So I'm gonna eat this, go train a client, come home, do more homework, cause Sunday fun day, eat again, and then train another client. Isn't my life so interesting? It's just eating, and training, and eating. I'm about to eat again, are you surprised? So this is meal five going down, and it is, who knows what time it is, cause my watch is still on my timer mode. It's five o'clock and this is meal five. It is, let's see what we have here. So I have the riced cauliflower again. I was gonna have real rice, but um, I didn't have any made, so veggies on veggies. Riced cauliflower and sweet potato, four ounces of shrimp, 38 grams of avocado, and 150 grams of California blend, with 32 grams of salsa. So I weighed everything out. This is super low carb, so this is what I'm talking about. I eat really often, like I eat, that's sun though, oh my god. So I eat like every two to three hours, guys. This is meal five, but it's really low calorie and it looks huge, like it looks huge. But the thing is, when you're eating so many vegetables and things like that, you hate me. Um, when you eat so many vegetables and things like that, they tend to be low calorie. So this is my meal five. I'm so freaking excited for my meal six, guys. Wait till you see it. I have one more client to train today and then I get to eat real good food. Real good food. I love refeed days. Okay, I'm gonna eat this. Cheers. Guys. I have waited for this all day, all day. So it's my refeed day and Eat Enlighten sent me all their new pints, there's seven of them and the two I'm gonna try first are strawberry cheesecake and this, which I think this is gonna be my favorite. If it's not this, it's gonna be the black, what is it, black cherry chocolate. So I'm gonna try these, the macros on this John are beautiful. Um, two fat per serving, 15 carb, and six grams of protein. So I'm gonna eat 100 grams of each of these with a rice cake, so I'll show you guys when I'm done. And this is gonna be my last meal of the day. Typically, you guys know how a prep goes. Well, some of you do. Um, I wouldn't be eating this a lot closer into show date, but I'm 12 weeks out, and this is my treat for my refeed day. I ate so many fucking chicken, so much chicken and vegetables this past two weeks. And I'm so excited to eat this right now. You guys have no idea. So I'm gonna make it up and eat it and I'll show you guys. Because look how much I got for 200 grams. Like look at all of this bayness. Oh my God. So, so this is my last meal. I hope you guys enjoyed my full day of eating. Like you guys saw, I do eat super often. My meals are really low in calorie. They're big meals. They look big anyway to me. But um, they're pretty big meals, but they're really low in calories, so I'm so freaking excited to just... Like 10 out of 10 would bang. Oh my god, it's so good! Alright guys, I'm gonna eat this. 
I hope you guys like this full day of eating. If you guys want to see something else, I want to give you like a full day of eating each week of my prep. So this is 12 weeks out, and then when I'm like 11 weeks out, I'll give you a video. And you guys will slowly watch me eat less food every week. It's going to be great. I'm so excited. But I'm so thrilled for my prep, guys. Thank you for following me on my journey. If you guys have any video requests, link them, comment down below. Like this video, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. I love you. Stay tuned for the next one. Bye.